G'day guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we're gonna to talk about show line versus working line German Shepherds. So what we're gonna do guys is specifically break down the Lucy dog. Lucy is a West German show line and we're gonna compare this to a German Shepherd working line protection dog. We're gonna have our good friend, K9 Apollo and his dad Josh jump on at the end and give us the characteristics of a German Shepherd working and protection dog. Alrighty guys, let's get stuck into it. So we're, first we're gonna talk about the two different show lines that you can get. One of them, the first one is gonna be the American and Canadian show line. And then the other one is going to be the Lucy show line, which is what I suppose we should call the, the German, the West German show line. Now, the, even though both of these dogs are show lines, they are completely different, completely different. And the West German show line, comparative to the American Canadian show line is almost like a working dog, comparing it to the American and Canadian show line. Okay, so why did I just say that? So the American Canadian show line is essentially bred for its aesthetic look. There is no doubt about that. They are bred with an angulated back and a big chest and a kind of a smaller, more sculpted head and they're very aesthetically pleasing, but they don't actually carry over any of the traditional characteristics that the original working German Shepherds had. And a lot of German Shepherd owners tend to agree that the American and Canadian show lines don't, they're almost their own breed of German Shepherd. Like they're almost a completely different breed because they, they just do not have any, like they, they don't have any drive or ability to, to want to work. Um, their bodies can be crippled quite early on in life from the, the severe angulation. And I think that's probably the, the main physiological difference between these dogs is the extent of the angulation they can have in their back. Now, these dogs are bred to show. So it makes a lot of sense to not have a whole lot of juice in the tank. And by what I mean by that is a whole lot of drive and working ability. So the next one I wanted to talk about is the Lucy dog, which is the Western German show line. So Lucy is a Western German show line dog. Now, this is actually the most popular German shepherd in the motherland, which is Germany. West German show line has a lot more juice in the tank and would probably be suited really well with like a really good active family. Um, these dogs can still perform in herding and IPO and they can also, they also have to pass a load of health clearances, health checks for the hips and elbows and things like that. So they, they are still an incredibly, a very active and fit dog, but they're just not going to have the amount of drive that you probably need for a real working protection dog. Like the working protection dogs, which K9 Apollo and his dad Josh are gonna discuss later on, are cut from a completely different cloth. But don't be discouraged though, that getting a Western German show line, you're gonna have a complete, like a dog that doesn't really represent a German Shepherd because that's not the case at all. Like for instance, Lucy is an extremely active young German Shepherd. Man, she gets about 90 minutes of exercise a day. She's extremely obedient. She's trained in an advanced obedience and um, she would actually be probably the perfect, well-rounded family dog for an active, fit, young family. Yes. Probably some of the physiological characteristics of the Western German show line would be their beautiful coloring. So they're more of a traditional, like when someone thinks of a German Shepherd, it's kind of like what's in their head is probably the Western German show line. So these guys have a straight to like slightly angulated back. It is no, the angulation is nowhere near as severe as the American Canadian show lines. And their heads are quite big and broad and they have a 
Bit of a larger physique than a working lion, traditional working lion German Shepherd. And their, their coat coloring is generally like a, like a black saddle and deep red kind of coloring. So that's pretty much what Lucy is now. Um, it may look a little different because I've got like a ring light here and some natural lighting coming in here. But when you see in her photos, she has a beautiful kind of black saddle, uh, black saddle back and deep red coloring all in. And that comes up over her markings on her face as well. It's quite funny, my uh, good friend actually <laughs> calls Lucy the unibrow because if you look on her face, one of her markings, Lucy, Lucy, up. Don't know if you can see that in the camera there, but she has this giant unibrow just over her eyes there. Now the West German show line have a great temperament, very strong nerves, and they are quite instinctively protective. Um, more or less of like your property and stuff, which is kind of a normal German Shepherd trait. Um, for example, Lucy the other day, we had a guy on Airtasker come around and move some mirrors for us. It was a big, heavy set man, about 220 kilos. Um, kind of looked really scary in a big dark hoodie, black pants, and he was actually just being safe for COVID, but he had like these big gloves on and he had a mask on. I don't think Lucy had ever been confronted with anyone coming into the house dressed like that in a mask. And Lucy actually charged him. It was quite an interesting scenario. I just called her back to the hill, but she was growling and doing her thing, doing her bun. But um, she's never actually been confronted with a big individual like that. Now, I don't think Lucy would have the juice in her to actually bite. She's never been trained in bite work or stuff. But this is just, just to be aware, like, like Lucy has never been trained or is not a working or protection dog. But the West German show lines still carry some of these characteristics over probably to a lesser degree. Maybe if she, was a, if she was a working dog or a protection dog, that guy would have been flat on the ground with an arm missing. But Lucy still had that instinct. And I called her back to the heel, popped her in her bed. That is all good. She's extremely obedient. So you guys, the West German show line, socialization, training, and exercise are super important uh, with this dog, just like the working German Shepherds. Um, obviously, these guys aren't going to need as much mental stimulation and training as the working protection type dogs, but they still will definitely need some certain amount of obedience work. You probably want to get them up to about like an advanced obedience stage, um, and you want to give them probably about an, a good hour of exercise a day, lots of brain game fun, but socialization is key with these guys. So. With socialization, they have a very, very sound, well-balanced temperament. So they're very good with kids, extremely good with kids, really good with other dogs, all shapes and sizes. So as long as you get them in early and expose them to loads of different things, the West German show line are a fantastic dog. So guys, with the Western German show line, I think one of the most important things to understand is they love their mum and dad, like they love their alpha parents. So just don't treat them like, yep, you're just another dog in the backyard you go, go roll around in the backyard and amuse yourself. These guys are a part of the pack. They want to sleep with you, be next to you. Um, it's not to say that they're not an independent dog as well. Lucy, uh, for example, is extremely independent. She can do her own thing, she doesn't have to be entertained. But when it is family time, they really want to be included and loved, and that's super important. Hey, Luce. Alrighty, guys, are some of the differences between both show lines, the German Western show line and the US Canadian show line. Yes, both of these dogs are show lines, but they are completely different, as the Western German Shepherd show line essentially carries on the characteristics of the traditional working German Shepherd, and the American Canadian show line doesn't. If has very minimal, if not any, characteristics of the working shepherd. So it's just to be aware, guys, like these dogs are bred for both completely different people in different circumstances. Now, guys, super exciting. I hope you're strapped into your seats as we're going to have Canine Apollo and his canine handler, Josh. Josh, jump on and talk about working protection German shepherds. 
Now, a bit of an overview, these German Shepherds are completely cut from a different cloth. They are designed to work and to specifically protect. These dogs are essentially the biggest and baddest dogs that you can get for this line of work. So Josh is a very experienced handler with decades of experience and he's been with K9 Apollo that worked together um, for I think about 10 years. So guys, sit back and enjoy and I'm gonna hand you over to Josh. Hey, thank you so much, Zach and Lucy, our friends over there in Australia. What's up, guys? My name is Josh, Canine Apollo. Our YouTube channel is Canine Apollo. I am a former handler, Apollo's handler and owner, and we worked together for about eight years professionally and 10 years in total. Apollo is a former working canine, and we are in Arizona. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about protection dogs and the different forms of protection dogs. Uh, that's talking about various breeds that are involved in protection, uh, GSDs, the check line, which is the working line, uh, Belgian Malinois, and of course, Dutch Shepherds. 